Marco. Okay, hello guys. Um, I hope you guys can hear me because the southeast is giving its best. Without, uh, we've had southeast for three days and um, it's slacking off today but it's still blowing fairly hard. Sea is a little bit up but it looks beautiful for a cob. Um, I don't think we're going to catch a big cob if we catch one. Uh, we're going to target those 5 to 10, 12 kilo cob. Um, firstly, I'm going to start off with uh, a live mullet. And then my second rod, I'm going to throw a normal squid bait in the white working water. Well, we were a little bit sidetracked this morning. We have AJ with me, he's behind me, he's throwing some paddle tails to see if he can't catch a cob. Um, yeah, we, we came down to the surf, I had a look at it, and we thought, okay, the sea is a little bit up still, we need to go to come down, and we're first going to look for some mullet. So, on our way, Driving past the river, we saw some garrick boil and um, looked for some mullets. We saw, saw nothing, didn't get any mullets. And yeah, the, the, um, the garrick that was boiling just teased us and teased us and teased us. And we said, finally, we drove to AJ's house, fetched ourselves um, two estuary rods. We quickly got three garrick each, not big fish, about those 60, 65 centimeter fish. Lack of fun on the light tackle. So I think that's my next video that I'm going to make for you guys. There's some light tackle estuary fishing targeting the garrick. But anyway, um, we finally managed to find a couple of mullets. Not too many, but I see there's a little bit of yellow foam here at the back. So hopefully we can catch, um, hopefully we can net a couple of mullets. So, yeah, um, I think there might be a little bit other opportunities during the day. Maybe a rag pup or a, a duck ball, some hound sharks, blue rays, all, all kinds of things. But we need the sea to settle a little bit. It's still a little bit too big. But it looks fine for the scop and the younger cop. So that's our main aim and our main goal for the morning. To target the, young, the younger cop on these banks. So it's rolling beautiful. We've got a beautiful color in the water. Um, ginger beer. So hopefully there's a cop around that's willing to eat our bank. So first let me get myself a live mullet on my hook. Chuck it out, put it down in the sand spike and then uh, prepare a nice squid bait you guys have seen my squid bait like a small little bollocky two little tentacles and the cop eats it well usually for me the bigger the life bait the better but i'm um, not going to use the biggest of life baits because we're targeting smaller cob and the wind is blowing and i want to make sure that i get my life bait in the zone so i'm going to use like an average size mullet on an 8 toe circle hook um, I found that the 8 toe on the live mullet works, works really lekker and when I'm fishing a normal cob bait, squid bait I prefer to use I prefer to use a 7 o unless I'm targeting a big cob and I'm fishing a really big bait in ideal conditions for a big cob I tend to go up to even a 9 o but for these fish that we're targeting today, 7 or 8 o would be ideal. And hopefully the live bait produces. Because fishing the jocker baits or the squid baits, there might be some other critters that, that will bother us. This time of the year, the, the blue rays can be quite wild. And I'm not too interested in catching those. I just said he wants to catch a couple just for the fun of it. So, yeah, let's go and get that bait out and I'll hopefully catch you guys a cop. Like a live bullet. Look how beautiful that thing swims. And that's why I like to hook my live mullet like this because its nose will always stay in the current and it will stay alive a lot longer 
And that single circle look gets the cob in the corner of the mouth every time. So, especially if you want to release your fish, it's really important to use circle hooks. I don't think I should throw this too far, otherwise it's going to be in the gully or in the gutter and then a hound shark or a gully shark or something is going to test me. So I think I'm going to throw this on the edge of this bank. Don't want it too far. with the throw then it's in the zone so hopefully the cob is there we can go tight well, I often get a lot of questions about the drag setting when I uh, put my rod in the sand spike well the drag shouldn't be too tight and it shouldn't be too loose it should be just tight enough for when the cob picks it up and he, he wants to go that he can go and um, or loose enough that it can go but also tight enough that when it pulls that the sand spike will um, actually set the hook for you so if it's too loose the fish is just going to swim and it's not going to hook itself so you want it loose enough so that it can take line and tight enough so that it will automatically sit right in the corner of the mouth so, I think that's about it. Come on, boy, get. There you go, like a little cob bait. Lots of tentacles or two tentacles for movement. Smell nice and soft. Hopefully, there's a cob that's willing to inhale the thing. Well, there we go guys um, <laughs> AJ threw a life bait there a little bit to the right and it wasn't like five minutes and he was on and um, I just got up <laughs> I just got up to go and film him oh this is a cop 
to go and film him or to film his cob and as I got up I just saw my rod go whoo flat and um, sure as hell I'm on and there's AJ on there as well and um, oh it must be a top just want to get it away from this line of light oh. I just ran away from that other rod of mine. I don't want to tangle on my own line. I hope it moved away enough and I drop closer to AJ. I would like AJ to come closer, but I don't think his fish is heading the right direction. <laughs> Boys! Yo, this is fish. This fish floored me. I. <laughs> I just still tussling with these fish. Still on there. I want to get closer to AJ. Ugh. <laughs> what do you got there, boy? Get <laughs> couple dough. I come here, I come to me, I take my soap. Woof! It's out there, bro. Huh? Yeah, it's near young for some. I'm just a bit too drunk. Oh. That's good. And I said, I bang it also, but oof, bang it. Als ze gooien, moet ik op hè. Oeh, oeh, yes. The guys, the colder water. These fish are stubborn as hell. And um, since AJ is into a really good fish today. Um, mine is just hanging on this bank here. Lekker boys, double up cobs. Well, we're 99% sure that it is cobs. Um, AJ's fish is really stubborn. My line, that is toxic, I must pop the ladies, I can't let you go, and I can't feel it. We were actually. Without any bites, any showing of a cob, and there's conditions that's really good for the cob. AJ actually saw one or two cob chases in the surf on the mullet, and um, he's gonna lure everything, no bite, and um, eventually now we got some bites. You can see there's a beautiful head shake there with AJ, must be a cob as well. No, it's a cob. 
I just saw him guys, like a cop. Yes, I really turn it. Ding, ding, ding. Guys, what is amazing with this braid is while you're fighting the fish, you can feel the cob teeth but your line runs over them. Ding, 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 ding. And if you feel that, you know it is a cob. It shakes and as it turns, you can feel ding, 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 ding. As your line goes over the teeth. So my fish is really close here in the shallows. But it's stubborn as hell. You can't pull them too hard with the braid. You have to fight them with a the soft drag and soft hands. Hockey leg did the trick on this one. I just got a live mullet there. Come on, boy, K, man. I'm couple Joe. Oh, it's a good fish, guys. Really a lekker fish. Stunning colors on it. Evo did the job. Yes, please, boys. That's what we came here for. Look at this beautiful cop. What a stunning fish, guys. Look at this thing. Woo! Too lekker. It's mooi. And there's AJ battling his cob. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay. Yo! Okay, just want to place this fish in the water here. Yeah? Use your camera skills. Is it your first time? Is it your first time? Okay. Look at that camera, what are you doing? Hello. Yes, yes. Lekker. I saw the other side, I see here hang two people so to jaag. Yeah, I think it's going to zoom in. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You can see behind. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, there's AJ. Double up, just landed his fish. There's my fish. Get it in the water. I can buy fish in the water and I'll just double up. Come on, a bit to the right. A bit to the right, my right, sorry. Come on, in the middle. Woo! Lekker. Lekker, boy, gay. Lucky boys, couple Joe, here we go. Let's go and return it. Is it? Go. Let's go and return it. Let's get them back. Okay. Okay, let's return them. Guys, okay, let's get back here, sir. That's it. Lekker! Ik kijk ook hoe leuk je ziet. Kijk, doe aan! 
<laughs> Luckily a friend of ours, Duan, came to say hello and uh, he saw us fighting the fish there so he could help us um, film and release the fish and um, luckily we kept oh, everything is everything is full of sand and it's such a mess that we'll sort it out now uh. Yo, the timing was like a, just as I landed my fish AJ landed his fish so we kept him nice in the water and um, with the water being cooler the water is full of oxygen and they went off like a Boeing too liquor hockey bait going out Guys, um, that was really lekker. So, while I have your attention, yeah, you know, I just want to let you guys know that hopefully by the time that you guys are watching this video, my online shop is ready to go. If not, um, you can go and subscribe. Um, you just enter your email address into the text box, and you'll receive an email once the website is going live or once it's live. So you'll be the first to know. So just go and check it out, www.sulukfishing.com Guys, there's some really lacquer stuff there. Um, I worked my ass off on the range. Um, so hopefully it is something that you guys um, like. And um, it's an awesome way to support the channel. Um, yeah, every, every little bit helps and every bit counts. Hopefully I can catch myself another cop water's looking really lekker so I'm just sitting here on my bait box like a real lazy angler waiting for a bite um, sea looks really lekker for another cop so um, let's hope there's another one but I'm sure there's going to be another cop must be it's too lekker anyway I think I should lift my horse and get ready and um, stay tuned hopefully we can catch another one or two well, it looks like AJ is on there I'm just gonna go and check it out um, he's fishing live mullet a little bit down the beach and um, there is a patch of yellow foam so I reckon that's why, he got, why he's getting the bike there but, uh, I'm gonna stick it out in a little spot there for a little while longer um, sure there's going to be another fish you know he's on there lekker There's another good quality fish some more fish that are biting at the moment
Euro voor vis. Lekker. Coffee for the boys. <laughs> now that we have coffee, the sun is coming out. <laughs> I just made myself a, like a mushy chocolate bait. Where is that, guys? Yo, that is stunning. Jeez, my red. Yo, beautiful. Okay guys, we're back at the back here. Um, unfortunately no cob with the golden hour, no cob after dark. It's a really big surprise. Um, this camera angle right here. Anyway, it was a yeah, real surprise that we didn't get a fish after dark, but um, it seems like there was a little bit of a current that started uh, a pool to the left. Um, the whole day there wasn't any pool in the water and no current, anything. So I reckon that's maybe the one reason why there wasn't a fish off the dock. Raja, right, what do you reckon? Yeah, but I've seen the pattern all the week. Yeah, it seems, time it got dark, it yeah, so it seems like the fish wants to feed <laughs> during the daytime. Um, there is a little bit of color in the water and that is usually when you catch those cob is in, in the daytime is when there's a lot of color in the water. There's not a, too much color in the water, but there's a fair amount of color in the water, which is good. Um, usually when it's a clean, flat sea and calm, and then the fish tend to eat better at night. But, yeah, so I thought there will be at least one more fish, but we can't complain. We really had a good day. Some quality fish, three beautiful cob. Um, I'm happy, I'm sure AJ is happy, he spoke. Um, all in all a lucky day. So yeah, AJ thanks. Had a lucky time with you. It's been a while since we fished together. He's a little busy packing up his stuff here. I want to go catch some leeries now. Yeah, I think that's the next video. We're going to make a little light tackle STD carry session. But I need to take Zandre to go and catch it because he is artificial crazy.
Anyway, I'm blinding myself here. I can't see where I'm going, so I need to get the stuff into the bucky. And uh, I think another coffee is in order, so the engine will see me just now to get a coffee there, like a hot cappuccino. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more of Zulu fishing, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to be notified once I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys next week, same time, same place. Cheers.